Now, before we hit check here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this what language is the code in, because here on Khan Academy, we're gonna be seeing this kind of code all the time, and this is the first we've seen of it. This code is written in pseudocode. You can't actually run pseudocode, but we use it for planning programs and thinking about code independently of specific programming language. So this isn't an actual programming language you are going to be using in this class, but it is a convenient way to write it down. And if you need to know what the pseudocode does, you can just look in this little uh, explanation here and it gives a full um, ex explanation on what various uh, functions do. For example, if you have a and then an arrow and then expression, it evaluates whatever expression is, right? It did some multiplication, did some division, and then once it got a result, it assigned it to the variable called, in that case, it was called center y. In this one, the variable is called a. And then of course, standard math, right? If you do a plus b, a minus b, a times b, a divided by b, that all just does the thing that it says, yeah? You just add them, subtract them, multiply them, divide them, and then it evaluates the result. This last one's a little bit weird though. a mod b, what it does is it evaluates the remainder when it divides the two. So in other words, unlike a divided by b, which is this one up here, unlike a divided by b, a mod b does the same division, but it doesn't give the quotient. It gives only the remainder. And that will come in handy later on, for example, if you want to filter all the even numbers out of a list or something along those lines. Okay, I think that's about enough of that. Although I will go ahead and post a link to a pseudocode glossary if I can find one in the, um, in the description of this video. So if you wanna print it out and have it in your notes so that you know what Khan Academy is talking about, that might be a good plan.